Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about my journey with the Cisco Encore 350 exam, the resources that I used for preparation and passing the exam, and what was my overall experience on the day of the exam as well. So do watch this video till the very end. Before we get started, do hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with your friends if you know anyone who is preparing for the Encore exam. Also in the description of this video, I'm going to mention all of the links to the resources that I'm going to be discussing about in the further minutes now. So let's talk about timelines first. I started preparing for the exam in early 2021 and um, I sat the exam in July 2022. So it took me about a year and six months from the day I started studying to the day I finally passed the exam. Now with me, I took that long. It's because I was working at the time as well. And I had other commitments that I had to attend to, I had other things to deal with. Hence, I wasn't able to um, completely dedicate my time towards preparing for the exam and clearing the exam. But from my estimation, I think if you can say dedicate about six to seven months of uninterrupted uh, time then you should be able to clear this exam in about say roughly six to eight months i started preparing for the exam by um, using the cbd nuggets online course this is a great video course by the way which is curated by cbd nuggets it it contains of about 460 videos in total and um, it has 49 hours of total video content it also has some good virtual labs as well that helps you to practice along the way and um, that can definitely better your skills like your practical hands-on skills while learning the course as well the course itself is um, like majority of the course is taught by Jeff Kish but you also have other instructors like um, Network Chuck, Knox Hutchinson, Jeremy Shaura, my favorite and Keith Barker as well Look, CBD Nuggets, most of the times, they do deliver like great video courses and this as well is one of their excellent video courses. So you should definitely start off by the CBD Nuggets video course. The next thing that you do is download or you purchase the um, original certification guide from Cisco. This is the holy book for the exam. You drink this book in. I probably read the book about two to three times because of my sporadic nature of preparation. However, I strongly recommend that you two as well, you know, do prepare or read the book at least two to three times because there are certain um, hidden concepts and, you know, those hidden details in the book that features in the exam, but it's very easy to miss it or probably it's not even covered as much as I would like in the video course. But again, that's because you can't really cover a lot of things in like a 49 or 50 hour video course. But that's why I strongly recommend that you read the original certification guide about two to three times. I think uh, there are about 27 to 30 chapters in total. So, uh, and each of these chapters touches on different concepts, different domains, different fields, right from uh, layer two switching, right up to network programming. You have SD WAN, you have SD access, all of it. Uh, this exam touches on so many different topics and delves into so many different concepts that it, it's one of the most largest certification uh, syllabuses that I have ever come across. So yeah, that, that's, that's the second step that I strongly recommend. The third thing you do after the original certification guide is um, your lab, lab and lab. Practice as much as you can. I use EVNG, but you can use Viral or GNS3 for your network emulation. Uh, you can also use the NetSim software by Bosun, or you can also use the um, lab guide which is provided by cisco itself and you can then build those scenarios or topologies in your um, home lab or your virtual lab setup i don't recommend cisco packet tracer for the encore specialist exam it's good for the ccna don't get me wrong but for the encore specialist exam you've got to do or practice stuff that goes way beyond what the packet tracer can handle so yeah evng viral gns3 or any of the virtual online softwares uh by the way cbd nuggets also uh, i mean when you put subscribe to their course it also consists of virtual labs that you can definitely use and they are like super helpful and have great scenarios in it as well once you complete practicing your lab environment you then go to practice tests and for practice tests um the best ones out there are boson exim 
it's, it's a software by Bozen again. Um, I think it's 99 US dollars. And, um, or you can also use the Udemy practice test by Anthony Sequeira. I'll be completely honest, on the exam, I felt there were more questions that were related to the Anthony Sequeira Udemy practice test as compared to the Bozen exam. But again, different people have different opinions and this is just my opinion. I booked the home proctored exam because the Pearson test center near my house didn't have any available seats. Hence, I had to go with the home proctored exam. Um, the total exam duration is 120 minutes and it consists of about 102 to 103 questions. Um, my exam started at 8 and they highly recommend that 30 minutes before your exam you log in, you do your ID verification, you show them your desk setup because it needs to match the uh, standards set by Pearson and Cisco like you don't need to have any clutter or any digital objects around you. So you do all of that stuff, it takes you about 15 to 20 minutes, these checks, and then you can finally begin the exam. Now, when, before you begin the exam, Cisco makes you sign an NDA that you can't disclose any of the questions or speak too much in depth about the questions. Hence, I won't go into details about the questions itself. But it, was, it wasn't a straightforward exam, I'll be honest. There were some questions that were fairly straightforward and there were some that were very tricky as well. Therefore, I don't think you'll take two hours to complete the exam. You'd probably take, say, a little more than an hour, but it's not going to be like the most easiest exams that you're going to um, attend. On a difficulty score, I'll probably give it a um, 6.5 out of 10. Like it was, it was, some questions were easy, but some questions were fairly difficult as well. So yeah, this, once, once your exam's done, you then fill a survey and you hit submit and you can quit the exam software and you get your uh, preliminary test report on the spot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole process of the exam and it's pretty straightforward and it's not very stressful as well the whole process is fairly easy and simple so yeah coming to my overall experience with the whole uh, studying process and the exam process i would say that this is a really really good course you get to learn a lot especially since cisco rebooted the ccnp exam this is the first major exam for the uh, enterprise ccnp uh, it's also called the Cisco Specialist on Core 35401. Uh, by the way, this is also the written exam for your CCIE as well. So you either give this exam and then you give a concentration exam and you can get your CCNP, or you give this exam and then you give a lab exam and then you can be a CCIE. Uh, me, I don't know what, at, at this stage, I don't know exactly whether I want to directly attend the lab or um, give a concentration exam, but let's see how that goes. But yeah, overall, I think um, this course touches upon a lot of domains, a lot of fields, um, a lot of concepts, as I said, right from layer two switching right up until network programmability, Ansible, um, APIs, SD-WAN, SD-Access, uh, IPsec, GRE tunnels, everything. So it's, 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 it's a huge uh, bonus if you're a network engineer and you can get this certification. So good luck if you are attempting the exam and do share and like this video subscribe as well um, pass it on to any of your friends who you know that are going to give the exam and if this can help them then why not and um, yeah thank you thank you for watching and um, i'll see you guys in the next video